Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Today's video is going to be a full face of cream makeup. We are not using any powders in today's video, and we're actually gonna be trying out some new products in this video as well. It's not a full face of new makeup, but we got some exciting stuff, okay? My lips are super chapped right now, so I applied some of the new Green Goddess Transforming Lip Balm from Milani, and it's green, but it comes off like pink like sheer pink and I just wanted to like moisturize the lips also I just bought these uh, facial cooling globes from Sephora I don't know why I bought this because honestly I barely use the tools that I have in my collection already which I want to start using facial tools a lot more often but this is a two-piece set of facial cooling globes that help soothe and massage your face and neck this is what they look like honestly I'm not gonna lie I bought them because of the blue liquid inside I was like Ooh. Greetings. It says the round shape makes it easy to roll around the contours of the face and neck. I don't know how to use these things. Oh, it's so cold. And the cooling sensation is believed to help with the appearance of puffiness. So, watch out puffiness. I'm coming for you. By the way, you should not put this in your freezer. Keep this in your fridge. If anybody out there is interested in these balls. But okay, the real reason you're here. I recently bought the new Fenty Beauty cream products. She just came out with a cream bronzer and cream blushes. There are two different shades in the bronzer, but I just bought the lighter one. It's in the shade Butter Biscuit, and I cannot wait to use this. I love cream bronzer, and I hope this is the delicious. I love this packaging. It's in the same packaging as the regular bronzer, but it says cream on it. Oh, so good. And then I bought three of the blushes, and honestly, I just got the loudest shade. There were a couple natural colors, but I have so many natural cream blushes. I was like, you know what? Let me go crazy. I got the red one. I got the orange one, which, oh my god, I just know I'm gonna love this. And then I got the super bright flamingo pink. And it looks like this. This is the one I'm gonna use today. I'm very excited. And I love this little packaging. It's so cute with the little cream on the front. <laughs> I love Fenty. And then besides that, I got a couple new products here as well. A new concealer, a new setting spray. Let's just dive in, shall we? Okay, so I'm actually gonna do my brows on camera. Shocker. But I figured I would just like speed it up and show you on camera because I'm definitely going for a more fresh, minimal vibe today with my makeup. And I feel like the Glossier Brow Flick gives you the most beautiful, natural, bushy brows ever. I love it. So I'm gonna pop on some Brow Flick and then I'm gonna top it off with the M Cosmetics Brow Cream in Brunette because I cannot find my Glossier Boy Brow. Why do I lose everything? Okay, so my brows aren't looking as good as they normally do with this Glossier Brow Flick. <laughs> and that's because I haven't done my brows in 17 years, okay? I haven't trimmed them like I usually do. I haven't plucked them. I've only plucked like the hairs down here, but I need to go get my eyebrows done. Uh, Corona, whenever you're ready. We're just gonna breeze past that, but I do love like how bold, but yet like feathery, like how hairy they look. I love it. All right, now let's get started on the face. This isn't a primer, ugh. <laughs> this isn't a primer or anything, but I'm gonna try out the new Milani Green Goddess Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. It's their new glow oil. It says this oil is rich in essential omega fatty acids, soothes, nourishes, and calms skin with lasting hydration. It has vitamin E, rosemary, and sunflower extracts, and it says it can be used at night or under makeup or like whenever you want. It's 100% plant-based and I'm excited. Okay. So it feels very lightweight. I like the scent. It's like herbally. It's nice. And then for a foundation, I'm just gonna do a nice little light layer of my Cojun Do Aqua foundation. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna test out the brand new Tarte Hydro Sealer. Hydra Sealer. This is their new hydrating concealer. It says it effortlessly covers imperfections, brightens, and smooths, and it has marine plants, caffeine, and neocytamide to help reduce the appearance of lines and dark circles. Oh my gosh, exciting. It claims to have a 12 hour hydration while being sweat proof, oil free, and fragrance free. It's 24 bucks, and you can also get this little sponge I'm applying it with. Okay, so I think I like this concealer. I always have really high hopes for Tarte concealers because their creaseless concealer is like holy grail for me. I really love their shape tape and I just think they do concealers well. This is a very lightweight concealer. I did feel like I needed another layer. I applied like two coats of this concealer, but it did blend out really, really easily. It's just like a nice everyday, really lightweight, not too much coverage kind of concealer. And it's not drying at all, at least not on me and not on top of my facial oil. So far, so good. I like it. And uh, as you know, I don't really set my concealer all that much anymore. Unless I have a very creasy situation, I try to avoid powder underneath my eyes. Welcome to 28. Now it's time to test out this bronzer. So like I said earlier, I got the shade Butter Biscuit. <laughs> And it's kind of like a cool, well, it's not so cool tone. It's actually pretty neutral. And it looks like it would work really well for my very, very light skin right now. I'm gonna apply it two ways. I'm gonna try using it with a brush on one side and then I'm gonna apply it with a sponge on the other. I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics number seven Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection little brush and I'm gonna dip it right into this butter biscuit. liking this shade. This is like the perfect shade for my skin tone right now. And I really like how it's applying with this brush. Everything is applying really smooth. It's also really easy to blend out. Like if you feel like you've messed up, it's not the kind of cream bronzer that when you apply it, it dries right away and you can't manipulate it or move it around. It is very creamy. It's very creamy, which I like that. Okay, I'm gonna take my Black Beauty Blender. This is like the pro one. I don't know the difference. What's the difference between this black one and the pink one? Why is this the pro? You know? Anyway, let's see how a sponge does. Okay, I think this is applying the bronzer really nicely as well. I feel like when you have a good formula, it doesn't really matter how you apply it, but you do have to build it up a little bit more with the sponge, of course. The brush applies a lot more product at once, so it honestly just depends on your preference. But both sides look the same to me. Both applied equally as nice. Okay, for the cream blushes, I'm gonna do the same thing. Apply it on this side with a brush, and then on this side with a sponge, a different brush, of course. One without bronzer, but one with foundation. <laughs> Let me try to clean this. <laughs> You're cleaning that on a napkin, right? Not on your pants. Obviously, I'm not crazy. Okay, I know. I know the orange one is calling your name. I know it's calling mine too. But we're going to go in with Bikini Martini today, which is this super loud flamingo pink, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm noticing like not too much product is coming up on my brush, or like it doesn't look so pigmented on my brush, which I really like because this is a very loud color. So I'm assuming it's gonna need some building, which I love. I'm gonna tap some on the back of my hand, and let's see. sheer so juicy so soft it looks so natural oh but we're gonna build it up don't you worry ah! I forgot I needed to use a sponge on this side okay I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm going Okay, I think I prefer applying it with a sponge just because I like this whole blown out juicy look that a sponge gives you. I mean, it looks the same on the side of the brush. Like, can you really tell a difference? Probably not, right? <laughs> but I can just tell 
applying it it spreads out the blush a little bit easier and it just gives like a more natural application when it comes to the bronzer I feel like both of them are ideal and honestly you can apply this with a brush and it's awesome it's perfect but I prefer applying cream blushes like this with a sponge and I feel like it just looks a little bit juicier I don't know by the way I love this color so much because it's intense but it's not too much but you can build it up and make it look crazy if that's what you want or you can just have like a a little kiss, a little kiss of pink. I feel like I did a something in the middle, like not a kiss, but not a slap, you know? For highlight, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of my ColourPop on the cusp highlight, just to keep with the cream theme. And I just want a little kiss of this, because I feel like this blush is pretty glowy on its own already. I feel like you don't really need a highlight when you're using this blush. Look at that, so glowy, but you know. Just to add a little something something. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I was just gonna throw on some mascara, but I'm gonna apply a little bit of my favorite single eyeshadow from ColourPop. And this one is Waddles, obsessed. I've been obsessed for years. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this and drag it all over my lid just to add a little bit of color since we're doing a full-on cream situation here. And this is like a moussey cream. And honestly, the reason I love Waddle so much is because it's the perfect one and done eyeshadow. Like you just throw this on your lids and boom, you got a nice little soft pinky moment. And you don't even have to blend it into the crease because it's just like such an easy shadow, boom. And then I'm gonna hit my inner corners with a little bit of On the Kiss, just a little, just a little bit. Mascara time. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of a fro, fro, a faux freckle vibe right now. I did it the other day on my stories and I have been loving, well, I, I've always loved the whole faux freckle look, but I really love it with minimal fresh makeup. So I'm gonna add some now and I'm gonna do it the same way I did it on my stories the other day. I'm gonna take my Benefit Precisely My Brow and just lightly tap all over my face. I love using my Brow Wiz or like a brow pencil for that because it gives you the most realistic, natural looking brows, uh, freckles. And then I'm gonna take my brow flick and I'm only gonna add the teeniest dots with this. I'm able to get like microscopic little dots with this with this they're a little bit thicker but this looks way more natural than this but i like the combination so i'm only gonna add a few of these so that the size varies but i want to get another brow flick situation like this that's lighter so that it looks a little bit more natural because i feel like if i got like a light brunette shade this would be ideal or something like this would be ideal for faux freckles i know that lime crime just recently came out with like a full freckle pen are we cool with lime crime does that weird doe deer chick still own it because i don't know i, I don't know one time I bought from Lime Crime and then I got a bunch of money taken out of my account and it was like a whole thing that I stopped using Lime Crime so I don't know but anyway let me let me do this Okay, so I think that's it for the faux freckles. Let me zoom you in and you can see, I think it looks pretty natural. The smaller dots look a little bit more intense, but all you have to do is tap your finger over it and things look a lot more natural. Okay, so far, so good. I am in love with this blush formula, this color. I love the bronzer. I'm so happy Fenty Beauty came out with cream products. I honestly love it so far. First impressions, A+. plus. Really quickly, I'm gonna pop on my lip. I'm gonna take my RMS Daytime Nude Lip Liner, and I'm gonna top it off with this brand new lip product I just got off of Sephora. This is the I don't even know why I got this. I really wanted to taste, taste, no. I wanted to test the formula. This is Le Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm. Um, beautifying balm that nourishes, smooths, and plumps your lips. 
Lasting hydration for eight hours, non-sticky finish. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's like a lip plumper, but let's try it. on the lips it's kind of like a lipstick lip gloss hybrid don't love the scent though I don't know why these fancy schmancy brands love to pu put the put these powdery floral scents in their products I don't I don't understand scent F minus formula I mean I like it so far okay so that's pretty much it by the way I am noticing a tingling sensation on my lips so maybe it's a little bit plumping it's not like a hurting sensation it's literally like a little cooling like a cool feeling like a barely there tingle but I feel it barely but anyway guys that completes this full face of cream products video I feel 100% dewy and natural and just lovely because my skin is so dry I hate powder oh my God. I forgot to test out the product I was second most excited to try. This is the new Hourglass Soft Focus Setting Spray, and I tried the mist on Instagram the other day, but I haven't actually tried it on my face, so let's see. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, look, it's going down because my AC is on. Okay, let's try. Mmm. Very. Very fine mist, but you do have to be rather close because I feel like, well, no, you still get hit from far away. This mist is super nice. Whoa, did I apply too much? I hope it doesn't melt off my freckles. Every time I see my hair like flowing in the wind, I think of Pocahontas. Every time, every time. Ooh, I forgot to shake well. It says shake well. I, I didn't do that. My skin looks really nice though. This made it look extra glowy and extra dewy. I was worried it was gonna be like a more matte kind of setting spray, like an Urban Decay All Nighter. I know that's not matte, but like one of those long lasting setting sprays, but I do see some dew to my skin too. I look glowy, I like that. I cannot wait to use that more. Anyway guys, that completes this video. This was my creamy, fresh, springy makeup look with new products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Yes, putty we done. Putty we done. Como te gusta oír, please subscribe if you haven't already. Because you know that means it's time to go outside. You wanna go to pee pee? You wanna do pee pee? Pee pee? No? Pee pee? Okay, let's go outside anyway. <laughs>